Time Flies, a podcast on time management. Welcome to Time Flies, a podcast where we dive into the wacky world of time management. I'm your host, Taylor TikTok, and today we're going to chat about the many ways we can all make better use. Time. So, buckle up, sit back, and let's explore how to make the most of every moment. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Time management. Are you good at it? Don't be shy. We're all friends here. If you're anything like me, you may have a little room for improvement. I mean, who doesn't? We all have 24 hours in a day, but it seems like some people manage to squeeze more out of those hours than others. But don't worry, we're going to change that. We'll share some tips and tricks to help you make the most of your time. And to make it fun, we'll sprinkle in some humor and quirky stories too. So let's dive in. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. But have you ever noticed that time also flies when you're trying to meet a deadline or finish a project? It's like time is a mischievous little imp, always running away from you when you need it the most. But fear not. Today, we're going to learn how to wrangle that imp and get it to work for us. Let's start with a funny story. Have you ever heard of the Pomodoro Technique? No, it's not a type of pasta. It's actually a time management method created by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. The technique involves breaking your work into short intervals, usually 25 minutes, called pomodoros, followed by a short break. The idea is to help you maintain focus and stay productive. But why Pomodoro? Well, the name actually comes from the Italian word for tomato, because Cirillo used a tomato shaped kitchen timer when he first started using the technique. Imagine that. The secret to time management might be hiding in your kitchen. All jokes aside, the Pomodoro technique can actually be quite effective for many people. It helps you break tasks down into manageable chunks and provides regular breaks, which can help keep your mind fresh and focused. Plus, it's always fun to imagine your work being chopped up like a juicy tomato. So, if you're looking for a simple way to improve your time management, give the Pomodoro Technique a try. Another essential aspect of time management is setting priorities. We all have a lot on our plates, and it can be challenging to figure out what tasks to tackle first. The Eisenhower Matrix is a popular tool for helping you prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency. The matrix has four quadrants, important and urgent, important but not urgent, not important but urgent, and not important, and not important, and not urgent. By categorizing your tasks this way, you can focus on what really matters and avoid getting bogged down in less important tasks. Now, you may be wondering why it's called the Eisenhower matrix. Well, it's named after the 34th U.S. president. Dwight D. Eisenhower, who reportedly used this method to prioritize his tasks. I guess when you're leading a country, you've got to be on top of your time management game. So if you're looking for a presidential way to improve your productivity, give the Eisenhower matrix a try. Speaking of prioritizing, have you ever heard of the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule? It states that 80 of your results come from 20 of your efforts. So instead of trying to do everything, it's essential to identify and focus on the 20 that brings the most significant results. But let's not forget, we're here to have a little fun too. Did you know that the Pareto Principle was named after an Italian economist named Vilfredo Pareto? Legend has it that he discovered the principle when he noticed that 80 of the peas in his garden came from just 20 of the pea pods. Talk about a penai for your thoughts. Okay, enough with the puns. Let's get serious again. The Pareto Principle can be a game. Change your when it comes to time management. By identifying the tasks that yield the most significant results, you can focus on what truly matters and avoid wasting time on less fruitful endeavors. Another important aspect of time management is learning how to say no. This can be especially challenging for people. Pleasers, or those who worry about disappointing others. But remember, every time you say yes to something, you're also saying no to something else. 
Here's a funny way to think about it. Imagine your time is like a pizza. You only have so many slices to go around. If you keep giving away your pizza slices to everyone who asks, you'll soon find yourself with no pizza left. And let's be honest, nobody wants to be pizza. Less. So, next time someone asks you to take on a task that doesn't align with your priorities, remember the pizza analogy. It's okay to say no and protect your precious pizza slices. Uh, I mean, time. Now, let's talk about multitasking. It might seem like a great way to get more done in less time, but studies have shown that multitasking can actually reduce productivity. When you try to do multiple things at once, your brain has to switch back and forth between tasks, which can lead to mistakes and decreased efficiency. So, instead of trying to juggle all your tasks like a circus performer, focus on one thing at a time. You'll likely find that you're able to complete tasks more quickly and with fewer errors. And hey, you'll still have plenty of opportunities to show off your juggling skills at parties. Another essential time management tip is to establish routines. Routines can help you create a sense of structure and predictability in your day, making it easier to stay on track and accomplish your goals. For example, consider establishing a morning routine that sets you up for a productive day. This might include waking up at the same time each day, engaging in some form of exercise, and setting aside time to review and prioritize your tasks for the day. By starting your day with a routine, you can set the tone for a successful and well-managed day. And let's not forget the importance of a bedtime routine, too. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine can help signal to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. A good night's sleep is crucial for maintaining focus and productivity during the day, so don't skimp on those zizzes. On a lighter note, you know what they say, Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Or in our case, better at time management. So make like Benjamin Franklin and establish a bedtime routine that works for you. Host, in addition to routines, another essential aspect of time management is setting realistic goals. It's important to have a clear idea of what you want to achieve and create a plan to get there. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your time management skills be perfected overnight. So, when setting goals, be realistic and consider your current capabilities and resources. Break your goals down into smaller, achievable steps and celebrate your progress along the way. And if you ever feel overwhelmed, just remember the wise words of Leo Tzu. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's also discuss the importance of taking breaks. While it may seem counterintuitive, taking regular breaks can actually help improve your productivity and time management. When you work for extended periods without a break, your focus and energy can begin to wane, leading to decreased efficiency. So, whether you're using the Pomodoro technique or simply setting a timer to remind you to take a break, make sure to give yourself some downtime throughout the day. And hey, if you want to use that time to listen to more Time Flies episodes, we won't judge. Lastly, let's talk about the importance of self-reflection. No one is perfect, and we can always find areas where we can improve our time management skills. Take the time to regularly evaluate how you're managing your time and identify areas where you can make adjustments. Consider keeping a time log for a week or two to track how you're spending your time. This can provide valuable insight into where your time goes and help you identify any time, wasters, or opportunities for improvement. And remember, self-reflection isn't about being hard on yourself. It's about growth and becoming the best time manager you can be. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed our journey through the wacky world of time management and that you picked up some tips and tricks to help you make the most of every moment. Remember, time flies, but with a little effort and some good advice, you can soar right along with it. Thanks for tuning in to Time Flies. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. 
We'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. And don't forget to join us next time for more tips, tricks, and a little bit of funny funny. Until then, happy time managing.